Hi, I'm Dan McGuire. I'm the executive director of Sabier, a small nonprofit that supports teachers in becoming effective at using OER in the classroom. Today, I'll briefly cover two different topics. The first is showing how to create equity in learning materials using OER in an LMS. The second is how to do that without internet access. When combined together, they become a multi-layered OER innovation. The future of OER use in K-12 will be primarily within an LMS, and it will be discipline specific. We can talk about that more if you want. Before we look at making open educational resources more equitable, let's consider why we want to use an LMS. Well, an LMS makes it easier to add material, whether it's OER or not. Many languages are available in an LMS, and students uh, can check their progress easily. An LMS makes it easier for students to communicate with each other and their teacher. An LMS has additional ways to assess learning. And an LMS makes it easier to access materials using a mobile device. And most LMSs have accessibility features built in. Using OER in an LMS is a way to create equity or make materials culturally responsive or used for individualized instruction or simply instruction designed for specific students. Now, we're not trying to make teachers experts on equity or culturally cultural responsiveness, but this is a way to make your materials more equitable or culturally responsive if you want to do that. Now, most definitions of culturally responsive teaching include these elements. Students can better see themselves in the content they're studying. Student voices can be incorporated directly into the curriculum. All cultures can be represented in the standard curriculum. Students are able to do collaborative problem solving using digital tools, in person or remote. Students use multiple types of media to create solutions to problems. Now I'll show you an example of how to modify OER content to make it more equitable or culturally responsive. So we're going to look at the original illustrative mathematics curriculum. Here we have a page from grade seven, unit two, and lesson um, six. We'll go down to the second part of lesson six, where there's a scenario. A performer expects to sell 5,000 tickets for an upcoming concert they want to make. $311,000 in sales from these tickets. And then we have uh, five different variations on that same problem. So this is a good way to give students practice uh, using equations to solve problems. But the problem here is that this page, as it's presented, doesn't tell students what to do. It doesn't provide instructions for teachers. All of that is someplace else and it has to be made up. I think the presumption here is that this would be printed out and handed out to students um, and they would work on paper or possibly they could view it on screen and then work on paper. We're not sure. None of that is included here. So let's look at that same OER content used in an LMS. Here we have that same lesson in illustrative mathematics, grade seven, unit two, in an LMS with a link to the teacher materials that's on that same site, link to the family materials. And then we can go down to uh, lesson number six, which we had looked at before. Here's lesson number six in unit two of grade seven. Again, there's a brief uh, mental problem for students to answer. 
And then we have that same scenario that we saw before. A performer expects to sell 5,000 tickets at an upcoming concert, but now we've called it a Cinco de Mayo festival. And we've added a picture of a Cinco de Mayo festival. The problem is still the same. All we've done is added some cultural context. We could also make it an October concert ticket sale. And we could put the scenario in German or any one of the other 80 languages that are available. We could also make it a Chinese New Year's concert ticket sales. Again, all we're adding is a few words and an image. The mathematics stays the same. What we're doing here is enabling teachers to easily present the standard curriculum in the context of students' culture. So let's look at what else the LMS provides us. So we've added these instructions. So as a group, answer all five questions, enter your numbered answers to a post in this discussion, explain how you calculated the answer using precise mathematical language, and please explain if there was any alternative answer suggested and why those didn't make sense. What we're doing here is having the students work together collaboratively. We're having them use precise mathematical language. And because it's an LMS, they have the opportunity to use all of the tools in the LMS to answer their question. They can uh, create a video. They can create an audio uh, recording. They can draw things out on paper and uh, take pictures of that and upload that. They can even add content from another source to help explain their problem. What we're doing is we're providing them the option to use tools in a collaborative problem solving way. That's the same OER content used in an LMS. Now, how do we do that without the internet? Well, we can use the MLPSI, the Martignoni Learning Platform Sans Internet. The MLPSI is a small portable server that houses a complete LMS. It has the capacity to include all of the materials necessary for any K-12 classroom. It provides access to the LMS to as many as 30 devices within 50 feet. It looks like this. This will fit in my shirt pocket and it's powered by a cell phone charger. It's also less than $100. This is a very powerful little learning platform there will be lots of potential applications. Some possibilities are higher ed classrooms that want to avoid the institutional LMS, correctional facilities, urban classrooms where an LMS isn't available or where the internet isn't reliable. We unfortunately have too many of those. Here's a school in Tamale, Ghana, where we, Sabir, are currently providing professional development for teachers in this school. The school doesn't have Wi-Fi, but the students are still able to use OER curriculum using this small learning platform. We're also working on getting more devices for the students. This is an example of OER combined with this portable LMS so that learning is centered in the classroom in the relationship between students and their teacher. That's a global solution. Thank you. You can ask questions by going to this URL and thank you for collaborating in this important work.